Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Another brand new day. We just want to thank God. Hallelujah. The Lord is great and greatly to be praised. Can somebody say that with me this morning? Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. We know there is a lot going on and many people are in, they're worried and they're concerned. But God says, cast all your cares on me. Bring all your burden to me. I'll take care of you. And so today I want us to open with this song. Waymaker, you may be in a situation because of the coronavirus. We've all been hearing about this for the last weeks, and so many people are at home, they're not working because of this. Children are out of school, but in this time, God is saying, Haha, Praise me, praise me, He said, because what the enemy meant for evil, God has already turned around for good. He's turning around, especially in the lives of his children. He said, my daughter's my son. Ah, God give me this word this morning for you. But before I bring that word, I want us to listen to the song, Waymaker. It's not my song. It's this wonderful woman of God. She sang it and I love it. And this, just, this is just to remind us that in spite of what's going on, God is there and he will make a way even in the darkest situation even when things do not seem to look right or feel right or god is saying do not worry i'm your way maker and this is just a reminder of who he is hallelujah he's also an american worker just enjoy the song thank you jesus we worship you god we worship you lord oh hallelujah 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 Glory to your name, glory to your name, glory to your name, glory to your name. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we worship you. Ha <laughs> ha. We thank God that He's our way maker. Hallelujah. You are here. Yes. Moving in our midst. I worship you. I worship Can you join me in praising Him? Ha <laughs> ha. Glory to your name. We worship you, Lord. You are you were here mm. working in this place in spite of God is working it out so we do not need I to worry we do not need to fear good morning my sister hallelujah morning you don't need to worry moving it's moving in our midst let us worship him let us worship him you were here I'm working in this place working in this place I mm. you. see God I wherever you are as a child of God you're not alone way maker miracle worker promise yes what is promises one of it is I'll never leave you I'll never forsake you my God shall supply all my needs. Those are his promises. There's so many. Remember them. Yes, my God. There is you. Good morning, my sister Rachel and Michelle. Thank you for joining us. Yes. I worship you. Worship God today. I worship you. Yes, Lord, you're here. You are here. Mm. Healing every heart. Every heart that is broken. Those who may have lost loved ones because of what's going on. You still worship Him in spite. God is the one that will heal your heart. Oh, yes, He is turning lives around, my sisters. My brothers, he is turning lives around. Mm. In the midst, in the midst of what's going on. When all may seem this month, when it may seem hopeless, God said, I'm turning lives around. Yes. Hallelujah. Join me in singing Waymaker. Waymaker, miracle worker. Promise keeper, light in the darkness. That is who you are. Yes, Lord, you my way maker. Hey! Miracle worker, promise keeper. Mm. Hallelujah. Oh, 
Thank you, Jesus. We worship you. Ooh. Wipe away all tears. You mend the broken heart. You the answer to it all. Jesus. He's the answer to it all. Remember that. You wipe away all tears. We worship you, Lord. You're the answer to it all. Jesus. Call in the name of Jesus when you don't know what to do because he's your answer. Waymaker. Woo. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. My God, that is who you are. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You are a promise keeper. We can depend on you, God. You never break your promises. Your word is yea and amen. We can trust in you. Touching every life. I worship you. Mm. I worship you. Worship him today. You are here. Hey. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. I worship you. Hallelujah. 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 We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, God. Let's worship him today. God is saying, praise me in the midst of your situation. Worship me because I am your maker. I am your miracle worker. I am your promise keeper. You know God's promises are we can depend on his word. He never leaves us. He never forsakes us. He said, I am with you always, even into the end of the world. I am with you. You may feel forsaken today. You may feel as though no one cares. You may say, God, I got bills. And where's going to money coming from for my bills? Those of you may have your little business home, you know, and because you did it, of the closings, you had to close your little business that probably just started. And you say, what am I going to do? How am I going to pay my bills? God is saying today, I am your way maker. I am your miracle worker. That is who I am. So he's saying today, trust me, my daughters. Trust me, my son. And in the midst of it, I want you to praise me. Hallelujah. Somebody said, praise me. Praise God. In the midst of it, God is saying, praise me. Oh God, we thank you for reminding us of how much you love us today. Thank you for reminding us that you are our way maker. You are our promise keeper. You keep all your promises. And you said, I cannot stress how much the word of God says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. He said, I am your source. My God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So we rest on your word today. And Father, I pray for those who may be downhearted, Though those who may be walking in fear, I pray they would remember your word that says, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of a love, power, and a sound mind. So we worship you today, Father. I thank you for the spirit of peace. We would remember that you are the order of peace, and we will come to you for your peace in this situation. Bless your word to our hearts today, Father. Glorify your name. I pray those hearing your words, would know, would, 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 would remember that they should trust in you, not in man, not in what they see. We would not trust in what we see. We would not trust in what we have. We would not trust in what we hear, but we will trust in God. We would remember the name of the Lord. Some trust in chariots, some are trusting horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord, oh God. So we worship you today, God, and we say thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to God. Mm. I'm excited. I'm excited. God keeps saying what the enemy meant for evil. I'm turning it around. I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to turn it around. Somebody say what the enemy meant for evil. If you could type that in, God will turn it around. And God asked me to share this with you before I bring the word this morning. Mm. It was last Friday. A friend of mine said uh, she was supposed to go. She was uh, our family, they're, look, they're looking to purchase a house and they had an appointment to see a house. 
and the person canceled that they said um because of the coronavirus they didn't want anyone visiting the home to see it and she said that to me and i started laughing because the lord said tell her it's all well because um what the enemy meant for evil in spite of all of this he said the house that i need for her is gonna the price is gonna drop and i'm gonna tell her when to purchase he said it's all well it's all working you may be said tell her not to be disappointed it's gonna it's gonna be in her favor it's in her favor somebody said it's in my favor and so he said i want you to share with my people those who may be home and and um they never planned for this sir parents who are home with the children and it's a hard time because you know some parents are working from home and they have the children there and it, and it it seems as though they, they, they they're kind of confused they're stressed out god is saying relax rest in me this is a good time in spite of what's going on this is a good time he said some of you remember you wanted to spend more time with your family but because the boss was they had so much demands on your time you had to work overtime even when you didn't want to he said, this is your season to spend that time with your spouse or your children. And so do not, do not let it glide by. Do not look at it in a negative way. Because whatever the enemy meant for evil, God said, look at the good. I'm turning it around, turn it around. So you may be home there with your family. Take this as a nice family time. Spend that time with your family. Spend that time with your children. Even as you may help them in their schoolwork. And even if they're not of school, you have to spend some quality time just talking about, you know, things that you, you didn't get to talk about last week catch up catch up on the things that you wanted to talk about or you may not have anything you want to talk to with your child about but just spend that sweet time in fellowship you're going to look at some nice christian movies something where the family could spend that time together so take advantage of this time says god take advantage of this time and another thing he said many of you may be praying for finances or you may have backed up bills and but you're home right now and you, you're working for mom or whatever. He said, you know what? The money that you may have used to pay for the bus or the train or for the car, let's say you were putting $40 of gas in your car every week and now you're home, you're not using it much, maybe just to go to the supermarket and you're using only $10 gas. Take that $30, take that money, he said, and put it to the bill that you needed to pay or save it for whatever you are. Many of you, he said, yeah, you're looking for houses and, and you're waiting. And he said, this is the season. I'm going to, he said, listen to me, praise me. Do not be worried. Do not be speaking negative things. Do not let your children hear those negative things coming from your mouth. You said, God, I know you're in control. I do not trust in man. The Bible said some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. I trust in God. God is my source and therefore God, I'm depending on you. Let your children, God says, see you praising him. So get your family together and have a praise session if you could do it ever because you own now, you have that time. Do not spend the time in, in engaging movies and, and looking at the television or on the computer no he said yes you may have to do some of that but put aside time spend with me train let your children see you praising me in this situation and even as you praise me god said i'm going to start revealing things to you things that i've hidden from the world and do you hear that somebody should shout a big amen things that i've hidden from the world i'm going to reveal to you because many people are looking at this as a time of oh everything is just terrible and yes we pray for those who may have lost loved ones because of this coronavirus we pray for those families and those who are going through that we pray for peace and comfort and, and, and we we're not trying to be um um not not with the word i'm looking at not sympathetic but we pray for those individuals those who may have it we pray lord that you would give them your peace and i thank god god is going to work this out but even as we wait for this to pass god is saying dear secrets i'm going to reveal to you because in this in this time of disaster that all may see it it may be a time of your blessing because I'm going to show you. I'm going to wake and make a way for you in this season. Again, he said, I'm going to make a way for you in this season. So those of you may be looking to buy houses, he said, keep a look carefully. Keep in my presence. I'm going to tell you the right time because the, the, the houses, houses prices are going down. And I'm going to tell you the right time to purchase that house. I'm going to give you that even as you home, you may be that person who have a small business and you're like, I had to close down and I don't know what I'm going to do. God said, come to me. Praise me, my daughter. Praise me, my son. I'm going to show you a way. I'm going to show you a way. The latter part of your life is going to be better than the former. When this is all over, you're going to be walking in victory. Right now, you are walking in victory. When it's all over, it's going to be more. This is going to be like an elevation for you. Mm. So praise me. Because I'm your way maker, I'm your miracle worker, and I'm your promise keeper. And what did I say? 
I will never leave you nor forsake you. My word says, I've never seen the righteous forsaken nor receive begging bread. My word says, by the stripes of Jesus, you were healed. My word says, I will provide all your needs. So again, this time, take it. See it as a good opportunity. Some of you needed rest. You get that extra rest. Take the time to spend with your family. Take the time to spend in my word. Spend in my presence. Praise me, God is saying, and watch me work. Praise me and watch me work. Hallelujah. I'm excited. I'm excited. And I'm, I know we will have several testimonies after this because I'm believing the Lord that I myself will have testimonies because I know the God I serve. Ooh, he's a God of the impossible. He's there. And so I would encourage you, if you if you have a need or you need someone to pray with, call us at God Loveness Foundation, 804-572-6972. And that's, there's another number that I will post later. We have a new number, and I'll post that for you this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We're reading from the psalm, and the Lord told me, Actually, my church, we've been reading through the Bible. We've been doing this for years. And in the month of February, we were reading the book of Psalm. And as I was reading the book of Psalm, the Lord said, I want you to share that with my people when you get on Facebook on Wednesdays. I just want you to read the word. And the Lord said, do not say, but I don't need that. Just listen, because he said, my word is powerful. And when we, when we, many of us, we know when we look at the Psalm, there's so many things that David has gone through that the, and the other, the other writers of the Psalm, the, you know, the things that they've gone through, we've been going through ourselves and some of us have gone through it and some of us may be going through. And so this Psalm, as we read it, it's, it's a comfort. It's just life, God's word. God's word is life. And so as I read this word, I pray that you will just open yourself, say, God, what do you have for me in this word today? Many times David was, was, was being attacked by enemies. He was being falsely accused by different people, individuals, and he brought them to God. He did not fight any battle by himself. He brought it to God and God fought his battle. So even as I read today, last week I read from Psalm 1 to 5, and today I'm going to read until um, 7.30. And I hope this is a blessing to you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, bless your word into our hearts. Bless your word, God. Glorify your name. I pray those hearing would hear your word. And you, because God says his, his, his word is sharper than any two-edged sword. So whatever your children are going through today, Father, we thank you that your word, your word will bring life to them. Your word will give them that direction. And your word will bring that healing. They would rest in you regardless who may be against them, they would rest in you knowing God will fight all my battles. Hallelujah. And you could read along with me. I'm reading from the New Living Translation. Last week I read from King James, I'll be taking turns. And you know, the older people like King James and the younger people, they would understand the, the, the New Living Translation, all the translations we have out here. So we thank God, Psalm 6. Oh Lord, don't rebuke me. Don't rebuke me in your anger or discipline me in your rage. This is David talking to the Lord. Have compassion on me, Lord, for I am weak. Heal me, Lord, for my bones are in agony. I am sick at heart. How long, Lord, until you restore me? And some people may say, Lord, how long would this coronavirus be going on? How long is going to end? When is going to end? Return, O Lord, and, end, and rescue me. Save me because of you, because of your unfailing love. For the dead do not remember you. Who can praise you from the grave? I am worn out from sobbing. All night I flood my bed with weeping, drenching in my own tears. My vision is blurred by grief. My eyes are worn out because of my en enemies. Go away all you who do evil. For the Lord has heard my weeping. The Lord has heard my plea. The Lord will answer my prayer. May all my enemies be dis disgraced and terrified. May they suddenly turn back in shame. Hallelujah. Psalm chapter 7. I come to you for protection, O Lord, my God. Our, our, our ultimate protection, we would use and we would take all the precaution and we should, we should use wisdom. But we know the greatest protector is God. I come to you for protection, O Lord, my God. Save me from my persecutors. Rescue me. If you don't, they will maul me like a lion. Tearing me to pieces with no one to rescue me. 
Oh Lord, my God, if I have done wrong or am guilty of injustice, if I have betrayed a friend or plundered my enemy without cause, then let my enemies capture me. Let them trample me into the ground and drag my honor to the dust. Arise, O oh Lord, in anger. Stand up against the, the fury of my enemies. Arise, O Lord, in anger. Stand up against the fury of my enemies. Wake up, my God, and bring justice. Gather the nations before you. Rule over them from an eye. The Lord judges the nations. Declare me righteous, O Lord, for I am innocent, O Most High. And the evil of those who are wicked and defend the righteous. For you look down within the mind and the heart. For you look deep within the mind and the heart, O righteous God. God is my shield. Can we say that? God is my shield. And so, you know, even as we go about and I tell my children and I, and I confess the word of God. God said, the sun, the, the sun would not shine me by, the sun would not smite me by day nor the moon by night. He's our shield. He's our protector. A thousand may fall in my side and ten thousand, but it shall not come nigh me. And even as we take the precautions in, in, in washing our hands quite often and all the other health precautions, we can confess the word. This is our protector. He is my shield. It says here, verse, verse 30, sorry, verse 10 of chapter 7, Psalm 7. God is my shield. Saving those whose hearts are true and right. God is an honest judge. He is angry with the wicked every day. If a person does not repent, God will sharpen the sword. He will bend and, and string his bow. He will prepare his deadly weapons and shoot his flaming arrows. The wicked over conceive evil. They are pregnant with trouble. Mm. The wicked are pregnant with trouble. They carry that along, my goodness. And give birth to lies. They dig a deep pit to trap others, then fall into it themselves. The trouble they make for others backfires on them. The violence they plan falls on their own heads. I will thank the Lord because he is just. I will praise I will sing praise to the name of the Lord Most High. And so, when people would plan things against you, it would backfire. They would dig a hole, it backfires. And what we do, we praise God. We do not rejoice and say, oh, it's good. That's good that it's coming to them because of what they've done. No, it says here, I will thank the Lord because he is just. I will sing praises to the Lord, to the name of the Lord Most High. We praise him. Why? Because we know he will fight all our battles. We know that we are victorious because who our leader is, because who our king is. Remember, we are in this world, but not of the world. Hallelujah. Psalm 8. O oh Lord, our God, your majestic name fills the earth. Your glory is higher than the heavens. You have taught children and infants to tell of your strength, silencing your enemies and all who oppose you. And I like the King James that says, let me read that says, Psalm 8. Oh, sorry, Psalm 9. I will praise thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will show forth all thy marvelous works. I will be glad and rejoice in thee. I will sing praise to thy name, O Lord, thou most high. Your glory is higher your glory is higher than the heavens. You have taught children and infants to tell of your glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Okay, King James chapter 8 verse 1 says, O Lord our God, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, who has set thy glory above the heavens. Out of the mouths of babes and sucklings hast thou ordained strength. Because of thine enemies, thou hast that, that thou mightest still the enemy and the adventure. So out of the mouths of babes and sucklings, the children, the little ones, 
They would say, You're, you have taught children and infants to tell of your strength. And so as parents, those of us who know the Lord, we are God's instruments. We, God, uh, God expects us to teach them to praise him. And through their praises, they will tell of God's goodness. They will tell of his strength. Hallelujah. Have you ever admired, look, look at a little child who's really entered in and praising God? They, 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 they do it from their old heart. It's just amazing to see children praise God. And so it says here, you have taught children and infants to tell of your strength, silencing your enemies and all who oppress you. When I look at the night sky and see the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars you, you set in place, what are mere mortals? Or the King James said, what is man that thou art mindful of him? It says here in the New Living Translation, what are mere mortals that you should think about them? human beings that you should care for them yet you made them only a little lower than god and crown them with glory and honor you give them chance you give them change a uh, charge sorry you give them charge of everything you made putting all things under the authority the flocks and the herds and all the wild animals the birds of the sky, the fish of the sea, and everything that awaits, that swims the ocean currents. O oh Lord, <clears throat> our God, your majestic name fills the earth. The King James says, O oh Lord, our God, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Mm. We thank you. We thank you. And as last week as I, I was going through, I, as I said, I remember while growing up, they were, we always sang songs from the psalm. And as I read this, I remember, and you may know this song too, it says, O oh Lord, O oh God, how majestic is your name in all the earth. O oh Lord, O oh God, how majestic is your name in all the earth. O oh Lord, we praise your name. O oh Lord, we magnify your name. Prince of peace, mighty God. O oh Lord, God Almighty. Sing with me if you know it. O oh Lord, O oh God, how majestic is your name in all the earth. O oh Lord, O oh God, how majestic is your name in all the earth. O oh Lord, we praise your name. O oh Lord, we magnify your name. Prince of peace, mighty God. O oh Lord, God almighty. Hallelujah. And I'm going to finish Psalm 9 in the next two minutes. Let's go. Psalm 9. I will praise you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all the marvelous things you have done. I will be filled with joy because of you. I will sing praises to your name, O Most High. My enemies, my enemies received, retreated, sorry. My enemies retreated. They staggered and died when you appeared. For you have judged in my favor. From your throne, you have judged with fairness. You have rebuked the nations and destroyed the wicked. You have erased their names forever. The enemy is finished in endless ruins. The cities are uprooted and now forgotten. Verse 7 of Psalm chapter 9 in the New Living Translation. But the Lord reigns forever, executing righteous judgment from his throne. He will judge the world with justice and rule the nations with fairness. The Lord is a shelter for the oppressed and a refuge in their times of trouble. Those, those who know your name trust in you, for you, O Lord, do not abandon those who search for you. God will not abandon those who search for him. And we will stop here today. So I pray today, even as the word of God came forth to you, hear what God says, this is a time not to be fearful, but praise me. And this may be your biggest season of blessing because God says, I'm going to give you secrets, secrets that I've hidden from the world. That even though the world is going on and all this confusion and turmoil, you can rest in me. And your, your latter days would be even better than the former. 
and even as you home he's saying spend time in my presence get your family together spend quality time praise and let your children see you worshiping me father we just want to thank you for your word thank you for your people and thank you for reminding us god that we can run to you we can rest in you knowing all is well all may be going around us all the turmoil and the care of the world we would not worry but we rest in you because you are our god who takes care and provides for us we give you praise and thank you in jesus name amen so let's go out singing that song oh lord oh god how majestic is your name in all the earth oh lord oh god how majestic is your name in all the earth oh lord we praise your name oh lord we magnify your name prince of peace mighty god oh lord god almighty go forth mighty women of god mighty men of god children young adults young people walking god's power is anointing go forth praising him knowing all is well be blessed. I'll see you back again next week at the same time. Have a wonderful day.